my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. So in today's video, I will be introducing you guys to a new hair care line, a new brand that was just released in Sally Beauty, and it's called Mo Knows Hair Curl Collection. This is a black owned brand created by a black woman that knows all about black hair and black hair care. There's a total of eight salon quality products in this line. You get four hair treatments and four finish and styling products. Now of those eight products that she offers, I only selected the ones that I thought that my hair could benefit from. I wanted to get the shampoo, but they did not have the shampoo in stock at my Sally's, but they did have everything else on the shelf. So who is Mo? For those that don't know, Mo is a licensed cosmetologist. She also has a very popular YouTube channel in which she provides information about hair, hair tips, styling methods, beauty information, and product reviews. I really love the fact that she named her brand Mo Knows Hair. It's very fitting for her brand. It speaks volumes to her name because she knows so much about hair and hair care. Now, I've been following Mo for a very long time. She is one of my favorite natural hair YouTubers. And what I like about Mo is she's very insightful. She's very articulate. She's very detailed. She's very informative about the information she shares when it comes to hair, natural hair, curly hair, all types of textures, densities, porosities, and damaged hair, healthy hair, like she just lays it all out there. She gives you all the information, all the knowledge. So that way you can walk away very educated about natural hair, your hair, and what you can do to better your hair journey just going forward. Listening to her is like listening to a professor. I listen to her videos from beginning to end. She gives a plethora of information and I always leave with these little takeaways, uh, things that can help me with my natural hair, things I didn't know about my natural hair, do's and don'ts, just very informative. Now, as she stated in one of her promo videos, she states that she tests her products out on real curly hair human beings and not mannequins. This line is created for coily, curly, kinky, wavy, damaged, healthy hair, colored hair, all different hair lengths and all different porosities low porosity, medium porosity, high porosity. So she claims to have all of us curly girls covered. So right now I'm gonna put her products to the test on my hair and see how my hair responds to the items that I have purchased. So this is actually perfect because this is the first of the fall season. This will be my first wash and go using newly released products to the natural hair community for the very first time. So we're just gonna make this a fall wash and go using products from Mo Nose Hair Curl Collection. So without further ado, let's get started. So I purchased the Curl Co-Wash Plus Conditioner, the Curl Restoring Treatment, and the Curl Setting Gel. To begin, I'm going to start with the Curl Co-Wash Conditioner. This product claims to remove light buildup and it detangles your hair. This is also a two-in-one detangler that cleanses and conditions in one step or condition curls after shampooing. So I have my hair thoroughly saturated with warm water. It's already sectioned off. So I'm just gonna thoroughly apply the product to each section of my hair while detangling my hair, ensuring that my hair is thoroughly cleansed. Moving on to the restoring treatment. This product claims to repair your curls and improves elasticity. Now depending upon your hair porosity, the processing time is going to vary. So if you have low porosity, you must leave the product in for 10 to 15 minutes, medium porosity 7 to 10 minutes, and high porosity 3 to 7 minutes. So since I have low porosity, I'm going to leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes. Last, I'll be using the Curl Setting Gel. This product claims to fight frizz and define your curls with a medium hole with no crunch. It's great for wash and goes and twist outs, leaving your hair with a beautiful shiny finish. 
So I'm just gonna work the gel throughout my hair, just making sure that my strands are fully coated while clumping my curls with my tangle teaser. looking so far after applying the gel I'll be quite honest I don't really like the gel it made my hair tense up I don't like the way the front part portion of my hair is looking um, this part looks frizzy and again this is a medium hole this is not a, a heavy hole this portion seems to be a lot more frizzier than the rest of my hair and it's just really hard to define that part let me try to use my tangle teaser and see if this will make a difference that's probably what I needed to do was just use that. Eh, maybe. Maybe I just need to try a different style. My roots are very soft, feel very hydrated until it starts getting to certain parts of the ends of my hair. Then it's a little questionable. Let me tangle tease this part over here. But it really did give me some uh, great curl definition in many sections of my hair. And again, there are some sections where the definition, where my uh, hair is just a little bit more frizzy, a little bit more looser texture. So my curls are not as defined. I, I want to do a different style. I, I got to do something. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to tame this some kind of way and I'll just be right back. So I'm back and I had to do something differently with my hair because I was just not feeling the way that was looking. So I just slicked it back. But let me just say this. The only thing that I have on my hair is just the gel from her line. I have not applied any other gels, no oils. I have not added any other product to my hair. I only use just these three products only. And I will say this, my hair feels very moisturized. It's still kind of wet. It's not fully dry. It's, it's pretty wet, especially at the roots. But my hair feels really good, very moisturized, very hydrated, very well-defined curl definition. I'm just really, really loving it. Just real quickly, just to kind of give you the rundown, I'll start with the gel first. The only thing I didn't like about the gel is just the initial application. I felt like my hair was kind of tensing up like it did not like the gel. Maybe it was too light, I don't know. But I will say that after fooling with my hair off camera and just kind of letting the product, I guess, kind of settle in my hair and in my curls, it actually started to feel a lot better. My hair was a little bit more softer. My curls definitely still defined, feeling good, looking good. It was easy to detangle. It was easy to uh, smooth down. And I just have it pinned up in a low curly bun with just some bobby pins uh, going around the back. But I, that's the only thing I will say about the gel. It's not one that I would go back and purchase. I think what I'll do is return the gel and try the pudding instead. I think my hair may like that a little bit better. It's also a medium hole, so I'm kind of glad that she has a backup so I can have another option. I don't feel like this is going to be a crunch, and that's one thing that she did say about this particular product. I'm going to do something about these edges too because you know I can't leave my edges like this. So just very briefly about this curl co-wash conditioner. I will say that it did remove the buildup. I did not feel the buildup or that gel still in my hair. It was moisturizing as I was applying it to my hair and it was moisturizing when I rinsed it out of my hair. My hair was still feeling very soft and very hydrated as I was rinsing it out and it just rinsed right on out, slid right out of my hair with no problems. I will also add that with this co-wash, Initially, I felt like it wasn't doing anything and I had to keep applying water and as I applied more water, the more foamier uh, or richer the lather um, began to build up on my hair and I really like that. I don't like to, to, to shampoo or co-wash my hair and I don't see somewhat of a lather like I, I got to see some type of a sud and then at that point I felt my hair was fully coated. My strands were fully coated. And my hair did not feel stripped at all and I was able to detangle very low porosity friendly and I like the fact that she puts on the bottle soak your hair in warm water because she already knows with low porosity you want to work with warm water on your hair to open up those cuticles so that way the product can really get in there get absorbed and just kind of soak into your hair and it just helps with the whole process of washing your hair and detangling it and just better manageability and it, it was just a really great process with the shampoo with the um 
um, co-wash. So I didn't have any problems with the co-wash. The co-wash was great. It's one I would use again and one I would actually recommend. And lastly, I just want to quickly touch on the Curl Restoring Treatment. So it says it's hydrating and it restores elasticity. Now, as far as the elasticity or the elastic or bounciness and stretch of my hair, that's probably something I'll see with continuous use with this product. But it was very hydrating, it was very moisturizing, and very penetrating well. It's also low porosity friendly. My hair loved the product, it took to the product with no problems at all. So between the co-wash and the restoring treatment, those two I would highly recommend. Those two I really, really enjoyed. My hair thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will definitely continue to use those. I think I will go ahead and apply some of this edge control, because these edges are out of control. So I'm just going to show you the results of my hair after using these products, just how I styled it. Nothing fancy. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching me review and demo some of the products that I picked up from Mono's Hair. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys. 24 hours later. So it's been a good 24 hours later and I just want to share with you how my hair feels and how my hair looks. So this is like the final, final after a day of using this gel and these products. So I won't say anything negative about the co-wash and the, um, the restoring treatment because those did good. I didn't have any problems with that. So my issue was with the gel. The gel, um, <laughs> my hair feels a very hard. Um, I could have used a little bit too much. Maybe I was just a little or tad heavy-handed, but I felt because it was so watery that my hair wasn't really getting enough product. So I may have put it on a little bit too much. But my hair is very flaky. Um, I have a lot of flakage. I have a lot of, I can see it flying when I touch my hair, when I do my hair like that. I see a lot of white flakes flying all over the place. My hair looks dull, dusty. Um, it's it's not crunchy, it's dry. It It's defined, my curls are still defined in a lot of places of my hair. But for the most part, I don't like how my hair feels. There's no moisture, it's like the moisture just sucked out of my hair. I don't know how well you can see but I just it's just flying all over the place. So I wasn't really surprised that I wasn't going to like the gel or care too much for the gel because it was so watery and it was just like putting water in my hair and my hair dries when there's no oils or anything to really retain um, any moisture. I didn't like the gel. That's all I can say. It just didn't work for me. I'm not bashing her. I'm not bashing the brand or anything like that. I'm just simply saying that that particular product just didn't work for me. It's just as simple as that. So just try something different. That's why we do these product reviews to see what works, what doesn't work. But I can only speak what works for me. I cannot say it, that it may not work for the next person. But my with my hair type, my hair texture, my hair can't do just water or just watery products. It has to have some type of oil or something that's going to give me some moisture, uh, leave moisture in my hair. Um, Cause right now it's, it's just a dry mess. I'm gonna do a lock method and I'm gonna put the moisture back into my hair because it really, really needs it. So I, I can't have my ends exposed like this and especially when there's no moisture in my hair. I, that's, we, I just can't let that happen. It's just dry, it's just, it's stiff. It's, it's just stiff. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a big thumbs up because I worked hard for you guys to bring you this review on these products, at least some of the products. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.